What's going on guys, it's Cliffy here. Now things may be going all peachy for the Knights in real life. They picked up back to back to back wins um, and at the rate they're going, probably going to finish above the Warriors in the end of season standings. However, for our virtual Knights, things could probably not get any worse. So after winning, um, oh my god, what are you doing defence? Obviously, after winning our first game, our round one game against the Warriors, things have just gone completely bloody downhill for the Knights. We've lost seven on the trot, would you believe? But the thing that makes it just that, well, the thing that is quite strange, I thought, is the team who is currently sitting above us in 15th place, the Melbourne Storm. They have only won two games this season. So this is round nine, and... Uh, Oh, don't! I was going to say, don't kick it. We've got the intercept. We're in very good position here. We do need to try and make the most of it. So, um, just need to keep going. Keep trucking away. We did know that this season was going to be a rebuilding season for the Knights. And uh, things are definitely proving to be like that there. We have had some very close games. Games that we probably should have won. Um, and that does seem to be a bit of our problem sometimes. Is that we're just losing those games that we probably, you know, should be picking up the W in. So, um... We'll just run through them very quickly. So we took on the Dogs. Uh, they were our round, I'm trying to think, round six game possibly. And I can't even bloody, there we go. But it's a... Oh, what the hell? I was going to say that is a bloody good bomb. It has been taken dead in goal though. And I'm guessing that this is probably going to be a seven tackle set. It is for the Gold Coast Titans. So this is good. And uh, it doesn't help that all our players, basically there at half, are offside. That's a good dart from Nathan Peets. Grabs himself quite a few metres, actually. Um, and we just need to make sure that we try and drive back, try and get, uh, we'll try and force another era from uh, this Gold Coast team. That's what we did in the last set. We did manage to pick up an intercept, I think, on about the third or the fourth tackle. So we just need to keep doing that. Um, keep doing... Oh, I was going to say there was a chance there. Keep doing our thing. And we actually have done pretty well. Apart from that burst uh, from Mr. Nathan Peets, we have been pretty sound defensively. Only 23 metres. And probably a good 15 of those was Peets from dummy half. So um, we've kept them towards the halfway line. That has been charged. And it is... Still going to be tackle number five, so that is going to be a handover. So that is a good win for the Knights. We're playing well here. We're defending well, and we're keeping, uh, well, we're keeping the Gold Coast where we want them. We just need to continue to make these meters um, and try and get forward as much as we can. Just get 10 meters, 10 meters per tackle, um, and then get a good kick in is hopefully what we can do. But um, it's not... Well, it is kind of working out like that. We're up towards the 20. Um, if we get another good run here, get up towards the 10-meter line, and uh, then we will... Oh, held in the tackle. All right. I'm just going to take a kick at goal because point scoring has been a premium. It has been at a premium for us um, as of late, and it does mean that we will get the ball back. We get some points on the board, which is exactly what we want to see. And uh, Mr. Brock Lamb, you don't expect him to miss them from there. But anyway, before we did get distracted, we were running through our recent results. So we lost 11-4 to the Dogs, 8-0 to the Roosters, and then the heartbreaking one against the top of the table, our North Queensland Cowboys. We lost. By a field goal. We lost 14 to 15, which is really, really heartbreaking. You know, to pick up a big win um, against a club like that would have been huge. So, really disappointing. We are having some really close losses. And I mean, only having that one win out of our first. Uh, oh, great step by Ken Seo. I think he scored. I think he scored on the weekend, I'm pretty sure, um, for the Knights. But that's a good run uh, from him. So, just need to keep it going and keep doing what we're doing. But. I mean, you look at our record, obviously, 1-7. and seven. It could so easily be uh, a whole lot better. As we have seen Josh Waddell into a hole there by Trent Hodkinson taking on the line, and that is what we like to see. But there's so many games that we could have, you know, we quite easily could have gone and got up and, you know, won it. And that is, that's the annoying thing for me, is that we are, you know, we're so close. We are so, so close just to getting... Um, oh, I was going to say, get out of here, bloody winger. Um, you know, we're so close to getting those wins. We're so close to getting those Ws. We're just, 
lacking just a little bit, you know? We're just lacking that killer instinct, those points on the board. That's why I did take the field goal here today. Uh, sorry, not the field goal, the penalty goal um, when it did arise to us. Because just to get some points on the board, um, and hopefully we can try and force an error here... Um, and grab ourselves a try just before half time. We have looked good. Um, our sets have been very good. Uh, and we just need to make sure that we don't really allow stuff like that to happen. Where we just let uh, those players just steamroll through us pretty much. So we are going to have about four minutes to run this ball back. And it is going to be big Nathan Ross hopefully trying to get us through somewhere. Um, I can't imagine that we are going to be able to get very far unless we do manage to try and get a breakaway on this next tackle. Um, let's just try and get... Oh, no, I was going to say, what are we doing? What are we thinking? We don't want to give away points right at the halftime buzzer. We do want to make sure that we keep things clean. Um, and that is exactly what we have done. So we're going to head into the break up two points to nil, um, which I'm very, very happy with. If we can just hold out defensively to a 2-0 lead, would be crazy, you know. But it is a try away. All we need to do is carry on that pressure that we did put on in that first half and just try and get a little something-something going. Go, Sioni! Sione Matati up to the 30 meter line. What a good run that is on the first tackle. So we're just going to continue to try and do that, continue to work our way upfield. So no, Sione Matati has been an absolute gun for us this year, it must be said. He has just been... Well, I mean, it is hard, even though we have gone 1-7. I think this is, uh, you know... The, the Knights in real life as well, you know, even though they are sitting bottom of the table, they have had some really, really good um, players this season and some really, really good plays um, that have helped them out. Uh, same kind of thing. They just have been struggling. Oh, God. Oh, God. What am I doing? Cliff, come on. Get your head together. Get your head in the game. We need to win this. The Titans are sitting in 14th. This would be a great, great win for us, but... We just need to make sure that we keep focusing. We don't do anything stupid like we just went and did there. Good. Shut down Ash Taylor. Shut them down. Force an error. Oh, no. Yes, good tackle. Good tackle. Don't let Connie Harrell get up into the line. And that's good. Get those markers back square because that's where we do get... Uh... Oh, no. I was going to say that's where we do get caught out a few times as those markers not being square and we do get um, the offside called against us. But fingers crossed that we can... Uh... I'm pretty good at the old catching of the bombs now. Pretty good. Now that I kind of know what I'm doing. Dane Gagai with a great take and a very slow play of the ball. Good! Good, good, good. Just got to use the sidestep more, I think, of this game. I think that is something that I really do not use enough. I was going to say, we do actually have numbers on that short side, but I am going to go um, out to the open side, out to the right, just because there's more space, and I don't really want to play... I don't want to play into touch at this stage, you know? I definitely want to go and, uh, and just continue. We just need to be careful here um, and make sure that we really don't do anything silly. Sione Matati, as I said... As I was saying before I got distracted, you know, the Knights in real life and in here have had... Oh my god, that is just silly. Trying to get those extra couple of metres instead of just banging it away downfield. We're going to have to be good defensively here now, boys, um, and try and keep the Titans down in their own half. But the Knights, they've had so many shining stars. You know, so many young players that are doing so well this season. Um, the Saifidi brothers come to mind. Obviously, Sione Matautia helping lead this side. Trent Hodkinson, Brock Lamb, uh, you know, all these guys here. And that is not what we wanted. The, the front rowers, the props, have just been absolutely destroying. Or... Oh. I was going to say, have absolutely been destroying us. And this game here, this is another one that's looking like it is going to be heading down to the absolute wire. So, I think if we can defuse this here, get a good kick away on our next set. Oh, yes! Who was that? Sione, was that Sione Matautia? Was that bloody Sione Matautia? I bet you it was. And what a tackle it was. So, we're just going to try and wear down the clock here. Hopefully, try and grind ourselves out a penalty. Um if we can, or just do that, 
I was going to say, or just head away. So that's good. That is great from, I think that was Brock Lamb. That is exactly what we want to see and move up towards the halfway line on tackle number three. So just need to continue to keep going. Saifiti, the big fella, another player who in this career mode for us and for the Knights has been incredible. He's been so, so good. Go, Trent. All right, just move that up. Where's Brock? There he is. I was going to say, no mucking around at this time. Chuck it over the sideline, force the scrum. What good play that is from the young 5'8". We're the clock down, and uh, we are definitely in a pretty good field position, it must be said. We just need to make sure that we don't do anything stupid, don't give away any penalties. I was going to say, get all our players back on side. Brock Lamb, what a tackle. Come on, boys. Come on. Kevin Proctor, not getting through here, son. Not getting through here. Four minutes left to go. Two tackles left for the Titans. All right, one to go. Come on. No, 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 no. Yes. Saifiti. Good. All right, here we go. All we need to do is make sure we're not offside here, which none of our players are. Yes, Saifiti. The pressure on him. And we are going to get a handover. We're going to have a pop probably at a field goal um, just because we can. That's if we do have... I was going to say that's if we do have time, which we don't. Amazingly, it is the first half Brock Lamb penalty goal that sees the Newcastle Knights pick up their second win of the season. Jared Hayne was playing for the Titans. I don't even think he touched the ball. Defensively, we were very good. Offensively, not that great, but we do manage to grind out a 2-0 victory, which is huge for Newcastle. We pick up our second win of the season, and that is hopefully going to start to move us off the bottom of the table. Fingers crossed, the goal this season is still to finish inside the eight, if we can do it with this young Newcastle side, but we will have to wait and see. Do hope you've enjoyed this video, guys. If you have, please remember to leave a like, leave a thumbs up, smash that thumbs up button. If you are new, please do subscribe. Social media links can be found down below in the description. If you do want to chat, hit me up down there. Until next time, kakite anoa, see you soon.